Hello everyone, today we will start reviewing Unit 4. <coughs> 4.1, the structure of the atom. Firstly, atom, as you studied in grade 8, we said atom, it's the smallest unit that can exist, or it's the smallest unit exist in the universe. Firstly, what is an atom like? If you if we want to study the atom or how it looks like, here it's like how the atom it looks like. Firstly, atom it consists of three subatomic particles. Three subatomic particles. These three subatomic particles are proton number one, neutron number two and electron number three. As you can see, the proton and the neutron are attached to each other, are close to each other. They found in the center of the atom. This center of the atom, we call it nucleus. So, nucleus of atom. Then, this Three subatomic particles, proton, neutron, electron, they differ from each other by their charge or by the electric charge that they have it. How? Protons, okay, have positive charge. Neutron, no charge. Electron, have negative charge. Again, the three subatomic particles, they differ from each other by their electric charge. Proton, positive. Again, as we explained in the class, we said uh, how to uh, memorize it. P, P, okay? The word proton and the word positive, both of them, they start with the letter P. P, P. Neutron and also no. N, N, electron and uh, electron is negative. One more difference is what? Protons and neutrons have much more mass than electrons. So if you will have a question, it says, which one has more mass, proton uh, or electron? So you will say proton. Questions. Which particle in an atom has positive electrical charge? We just explained. We say because here it's positive, so it is proton. Question number two. Which of the three particles that make up an atom has the smallest mass? As we explained here, we say it's electron. So the answer for number two, it is electron. Then, question number three, which particle make up the nucleus of an atom? Or which particles, sorry. Here, we just explained, we say the proton and neutron, both of them, they form the nucleus. The size of the negative charge of an electron is exactly the same as the size of the positive of charge of proton. What is the overall charge of helium atom? shown in the diagram okay this is the helium atom okay it has two protons two positive protons and two negative electrons so what is the total uh, question number four the size of the negative charge of an electron is exactly the same as the size of the positive charge of proton what is the a overall charge of the helium atom shown in the diagram? Here, as you can see, we have two protons and two electrons. Okay, now, two positive and two negative. So what is the overall? So the overall will be zero because plus two, it will cancel the negative two. How did scientists come up with this model of atom? Scientists 
Scientists from different parts of the world have worked on a number of different ideas that have led to the model of atom which we use today. Okay, so the first scientist who the first scientist uh, start studying or uh, studying about the uh, structure of atom uh, was a British scientist. Uh, his name was Thompson. Thompson discovered the electron. His model for atom was that the different parts of the atom were scattered through the structure. Look at this diagram or this model. This model it shows the uh, this is the Thomson's model. Model. What he said he said the electrons are scattered are uh, scattered in the uh, atom. Then one of the Thomson's research students originally came from New Zealand. His name was uh, Ernest Rutherford. Rutherford, he discovered protons and then the nucleus. So now we have Thompson. He discovered electrons. He made this model. One of his students, uh, his name was Rutherford. Rutherford, he discovered the proton and then and later uh, nucleus then Rutherford he came up with an experiment uh, to explain the structure of the atom what did he do he used uh, a particle source here a particle source it will give uh, particles that are tiny or smaller than uh, gold uh, smaller than gold okay smaller than atom sorry then uh, the the experiment is in this shape, in this way. Uh, particle results will will give resource would will give uh, small particles. Then here we have gold foil. It's made up of uh, atoms, gold atoms, and here we have a particle detector. What he did, he this particle source it gives the particles. When these particles it's moving or it's going through. Uh, the gold foil some of these particles will hit the uh, for example will hit the protons when it will hit the protons it will stop it will not pass but if you look here between nucleus and electrons there is a gap okay there is empty space so here what is happening some of these uh, particles it will pass through this uh, gap so uh, at the end what he said he said that the atom it's mostly empty then james chadwick worked with rutherford and thompson so one two three Three scientists, they work together in order to show the structure of atoms. Still, nowadays, uh, lots of uh, facts are missed about atoms and uh, lots of things uh, to be discovered. More about 4.2. 4.2, more about the structure of the atom. In stage 8, you studied about periodic table. We say periodic table, it's the table that contains all the elements exist on Earth. These elements are arranged in a unique way depending on their uh, atomic number. What do you mean by atomic number? Is the number of protons that this element has in it in its atom in the uh, the atoms of the elements increase in mass as you progress from left to right if you will start from here left going to the right you will see the uh, mass increase in their mass one more thing each element has an atomic number. If you, if you will look 
uh, on this square. Each square it has, as you can see, it has a number. Okay, what one number, two numbers, and letter. So what are these numbers? What is what does represent these numbers? Now, first thing, each element has an atomic number. Atomic number. This is the atomic number, the upper number. This number we call it the atomic number. What do you mean by atomic number? It's the number of protons in this atom. Then, each element has mass number. What do you mean by mass numbers? It's the total number of protons and neutrons together. So, here we have number one. One, it's the atomic number. It means this atom, hydrogen atom, it has one, one proton because the atomic number is one. Mass number, also it's one. It means if you will add number of protons to the number of neutrons, you will get the mass numbers. Then, protons have a positive charge, as we just explained in, in 4.1. Electrons have negative charge. Now, let's solve this example. Let's take lithium as an example. <clears throat> Atomic number, if you look at this number, how much it is? Three. So this number three represents what? It, it's the atomic number. What's that mean? It means lithium atom has three protons. Mass number, it's seven. This one, it's seven. What's that mean? We say it. mass number, it's equal to the number of protons and neutrons together. So here, now mass number, it's seven. Okay. What is the number of protons? How many protons do we have here? Three. How many electrons do we have here? Also three. But why three? Here it's not mentioned. In atoms, in neutral atoms, all the atoms, the number of protons, it's equal to the number of electrons. If you look at uh, this this example let's go back to this example okay here how many protons we had one two two protons how many electrons one two so always number of protons it's equal to the number of neutrons so here that's why number of electrons it's three now Number of neutrons. How we can find number of neutrons? To find number of neutrons, we will follow this equation. Number of neutrons equal to mass number minus number of protons. So, what was the mass number? As you can see here, it's 7. 7 minus. What is the number of protons? 3. So, equal to 7 minus 3 equal to 4. So, number of neutrons in this atom, in lithium atom, it is 4.
arranging the electrons how the electrons are arranged in the uh, atom so if we again if we will study the structure of the atom we will see it consists of a nucleus in the middle and around the nucleus we have these circles or we call them shells sometimes they call them orbits okay the electrons are arranged in the electron shells or orbit around the nucleus focus on this question because sometimes they will say electrons are arranged uh, outside the atom okay so now here it's wrong it's not outside the atom it's still in the atom okay it's around the nucleus okay a Danish scientist, his name was Niels Bohr. Niels Bohr, he was the first who had the idea that electrons move in different shells around the nucleus. Here, look at these three different atoms. Atom of beryllium, atom of boron, and atom of carbon. If you look at the at these three atoms, they differ from each other by the number of uh, by their atomic number, and also they will differ by their electron numbers. So here, if you can see here, we have one, two, three, four. Okay, we have four uh, electrons, and here we have one, two, three four four and five okay and here one two three four five six if you will see how this at how these electrons are arranged always in the first shell maximum you can add two or up to uh, electrons for example if you have an atom that has uh, let's say two electrons so how many shells you will draw you will draw only one because on the first one you can put two uh, electrons but if you have an atom with more than two electrons what you will do you will draw the first uh, shell you will put two atoms and if you have more, you will go to the next shell. The next shell, it can hold up to eight. So now, for example, let's take this again, this one as, as an example. Uh, here we have this atom. It has how many electrons? One, two, three, four. How did we arrange them? We put the first two in the first shell and the other two we put in the another shell now if we want so the electron arrangement of an atom okay of boron here they are talking about this boron it's as you can see two three what's that mean two three two it means it represents this number of electrons in the first shell three it represents number of electrons in the second shell now if we want to give uh, the electron arrangement by the way uh, this writing 2.3 okay 2 3 and so on this we call it the electron arrangement so if you have a question uh, it says draw an atom uh, and try the electron arrangement you will draw first the atom in this way then they will write the electron arrangement in this way as numbers so if we want to give the electron arrangement for this one how it will be look at the first shell how many electrons do you have two so you will write two comma you will go do we have another shell yes how many electrons do you have in another shell also we have two so two comma two and so on Four point three trends in group number one. If you look at the periodic table, you will see 
or as we explained in grade 8, the periodic table is uh, divided or arranged into uh, vertical columns and horizontal rows. Okay, if we will take the first column as an example, the elements or this group, uh, the group 1, they called group 1, and uh, also they call it alkali metals. Alkali metals, all the elements that are arranged in group number 1. Group number 1, here is the group number 1, the vertical column okay here are uh, some of the elements in the group number one with their details Ele element for example lithium sodium potassium the atomic number lithium the first one it's three sodium it's 11 and potassium it's 19 trends in this group if you look at this element and as long you will go down as much as you go down you will see what it's happening to the atomic number it is increasing then because the atomic number it's increasing so again or also the mass number also will increase here it's 7 23 and 39 okay Atomic number and mass number, it increases as long as we go down. But this is opposite to the melting point and boiling point. For example, here lithium, the melting point of it, it's 180. Okay, 180. But if you will go down to sodium, you will see it's 98. And here it's 63 the same thing is with boiling so uh, trending for this table for this uh, group number one alkali metals you will say the atomic number and mass number increase as long as we go down but uh, melting point and boiling point it's the opposite the structure of group one element here what you need to focus, the electronic structure of this group number one, always it ends with one electron in the outer shell. It doesn't matter how many shells there are, okay? But always the last shell, it has one electron, okay? Two in the first, one in the last. These electrons and one at the end. And the same thing, it's here. So, the thing that it's in common in all of these uh, elements, or elements in group number one, it's what? It's their outer shell. They have one electron in their outer shell. Some questions. What happens to the size of atoms as you go down this group? Okay. The answer will be, it will increase. Okay mass as long as much as you go down so what is happening to it it increase trends in some other groups group number seven group number seven or they call it uh, the name of it it's halogens okay uh, here again we have table it shows the uh, details about it Examples of uh, halogens, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, bromine. Atomic number of the first one, 9, 17, 35. Again, what is happening? As much as we go down, the number, uh, the atomic number is increasing. Electronic structure, again, 7, 7, and 7. What's that mean? This group, group number 7, their uh, outer shell or the last shell it has seven electrons in it if you remember when we talked about the first one we said the outer shell of uh, the first group elements it ends with one electron here it's seven mass number again here it's 19 35 and 80 it's same as uh, atomic numbers then one more thing here will differ it's the state the first two elements are gases at room temperature. Bromine is 
look what okay so here the elements here they differ from each other by their uh, state some of them are gases in room temperature others are liquid in uh, room temperature here the electronic structure okay again uh, one two in the first shell always it can hold up to two it means maximum you can put two electrons here then one two three four five six seven seven electrons in the outer shell here this one also if we will count the the electrons in the outer shell we will see it's one two three four five six seven that's why this they belong to group number seven the last uh, the last group group number eight we call it the noble gases no noble gases from the name all these gases are all these elements are gases and they are inert what do you mean by inert it means they are unreactive it will not react with any other uh, element these gases they call them noble gases again the trends here atomic number increase as long as we go down the electronic structure uh, as you can see also uh, the, the outer shell it has uh, eight electrons in it and here here some drawings okay if you will count the electrons in the outer shell for one two three four five six seven eight and so on for every one here this table it's predicting predicting lithium sodium potassium uh, rubidium these are the elements for group number one okay here the melting point the first one is 180 and the third one is 63 so predict what do you think how much will be the sodium because as we said as much as we go down the temp the melting point it will decrease so the number here it should be less than 180 and more than 60 Three. The same thing it's for this one and this one. This was everything for unit four. Uh, your homework will be solving the questions and also reviewing the revision book, uh, the, the revision book for checkpoint unit four. Have a good day.